What? Dolly Hawthorne, that was in the dialogue, that doesn't count. Yes, the sweetie pie of everyone's eye, Miss Dolly Hawthorne. She was the prime suspect in a criminal case just eight months ago. But obviously they must have decided she didn't do it. Maybe there was just not enough evidence to convict. I don't know. It's true then. The loveliest rose- Whoa! Miss Faye, that's not fair! The judge may have lost his boner, but I still have mine. Um. I, Winston Payne, will not- Whoa, it's going by itself here. Mr. Prosecutor, I believe I was speaking. Thank you, you tell that asshole. Pardon me, go right ahead. It's true that about eight months ago, the police expressed some interest in me. It just got really dark in there. Dude, that is... Is there... Is this, like, raining? I gotta go check that out. That is freaking me out. Okay, sorry about that. I keep walking away from the computer. A huge storm just moved in, so, um... Let's hope we don't lose power. <laughs> hmm, expressed some interest, huh? Mr. Judge, sir, I know I'm under oath, so I'll tell you the absolute truth. I did not commit the crime that occurred during that incident eight months ago. I see. Alright. That we do. Well done, Mia. You really lit a fire in my heart and my buttocks. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Please don't fart. I can hardly tell which is more inflamed, my spirit or my hemorrhoids. Oh dear. Man. What a crazy man. I met the lawyer who was poisoned to discuss something in the cafeteria that day. You know, in the cafeteria. I left my seat for just a moment, and that's when it happened. From what I heard, it was a liquid poison that is lethal at just two teaspoons. Not only that, I heard it was a very special kind of poison. So you see, I'm innocent. I wouldn't even know where to get a poison like that. From a muck. Hmm, so that's what happened here eight months ago. However, as you heard from the witness's testimony, she had nothing to do with it. So it must be true! I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Payne. <laughs> but I'm afraid the defense has many more tricks up its sleeve today. And I'll be sure to show them to you before the end of this cross-examination. <laughs> yeah. Why does the defense suddenly feel stronger? Aha, Mia, you're glowing with a true lawyer's aura, my dear. That proud posture and self-confidence. Absolutely smashing! Now smash his face with an iron! Mm. Okay, so... You met the lawyer who was poisoned to discuss something in the cafeteria that day. What were you talking about with a defense attorney? Well, I'm sorry, but that's confidential. It's what? According to the report, you were being interviewed regarding another case. The lawyer that was killed, he said he wanted to talk about an incident I was caught up in when I was younger. So now there's three cases you were involved in. Oof, boy. That has absolutely nothing at all to do with this case, or the case that we were just talking about. Nah. You get involved in a lot of incidents, don't you, Miss Hawthorne? Were you on Lost? Well, I guess I was just born under a bad sign. Don't worry, Dolly. I'll protect you. You heard the man. Now that is true love, young lady. Oh, Feeny. Please. Gag. Those two really are making me ill. Albeit for decidedly different reasons. Hmm. You left your seat for just a moment and that's when it happened. What did you do? Do you have to go in the bath? Do you have to go in the bathroom? It's a good thing there's not an in-the-bathroom counter on this. I've already answered all those questions for the police. But if you must know, maybe 10 or 20 minutes. Whoa! Was it a number two? <laughs> maybe it was just that time of the month, man. You don't know. My perfect little dolly doesn't poop! You heard the defendant, Miss Faye. She doesn't poop. Better luck next time. 
Oh, Feeny, please believe me. I don't poop. The police have already looked at this whole matter. It turns out you do poop. They check your butt, and there were hemorrhoids. <laughs> no. This line of questioning is nothing but a waste of the court's time. Objection sustained. Miss Hawthorne, please continue with your testimony. We're not getting anywhere with this. From what I heard, it was just a liquid, a liquid poison that is lethal. It's just two teaspoons. Why do you know so much about the poison if you didn't do it? About how much liquid is two teaspoons? Mm, let me see. Enough to fit into that bottle on her necklace, maybe? My bottle of eye drops says it's one half fluid ounce, which is equal to three teaspoons. So it's about two thirds of that amount, huh? The poison is found in the lawyer's mug of coffee. It must have been after I left the table. Someone must have quietly slipped it in there. Mm. Not only that, I heard it was a very special kind of poison. What's that? A special kind of poison? How so? Well, I heard it's almost impossible to detect. But that turned out to be a lie, didn't it? I'm sorry, all I know is that when I overheard the policeman saying, they said something about using advanced chemical processes to purify it. Oh! So I meant purify, I'm sorry. That's not what I was owing about. I was owing because advanced chemical processes. That sounds a little familiar. Well, well, that's quite <laughs> impressive. Most impressive. The better question is, how did the criminal get something like that? Gee, I don't know. So you see, I'm innocent. I wouldn't even know where to get a poison like that. Well, I think you do. And that's the reason they didn't arrest you? Because no one could show how you could have gotten the poison? I think that's a good enough reason, Madam Faye. She's right. And I think we've all had enough of Miss Faye's questions. Hmm. So in essence, the main reason Miss Hawthorne was never arrested for this crime was because no one could show how she could have obtained the poison. Then all we have to do is find a way to establish how she could have gotten some, right? Great. Now just how did a literary student get a hold of poison, of all things? Well, I know how, but what, what am I going to present to uh, do that? I'm going to get back to the statement. Present? Let me see here. Well, maybe I should present... Uh, her boyfriend? Because I don't think anything in my evidence has anything to do with that. Pharmacology student. I'm gonna try it. You wouldn't know how to get that kind of poison. I don't believe you. What? In fact, you had easy access to that kind of poison, didn't you? At your boyfriend's lab! Yep. Yeah! Boyfriend? You mean the victim, Doug Swallow? No! I mean Terry Turner! I don't even know who- I just made that name up off the top of my head. That's right, up until eight months ago, Miss Hawthorne was dating Mr. Swallow. And if you recall, Mr. Swallow was a pharmacology student. Pharmacology? What is that? His laboratory contained highly advanced chemistry equipment. In fact, without such equipment, the culprit could never have obtained such a rare and special poison. Well, Miss Hawthorne, it seems you had access to such a poison after all. And then it was a matter of slipping it into the victim's coffee when he wasn't looking. The only person who could have done that was the one sitting at his very table. You. Ooh, boy. Order! C -c combo breaker? Oh, no, this is the combo breaker, apparently. May I say something, Madam Fay? What is it this time, Miss Hawthorne? The amount of poison in the coffee was two teaspoons, correct? In order to carry that much liquid, you would need some kind of container. Well, yes, that's true. I was searched immediately after the incident took place. Quite true. In fact, the entire courthouse was turned upside down. But they didn't find anything at all, did they? Of course not. Hmm. Well, you could have easily gotten rid of something that small. Excuse me, madam, but this is a court of law. If you're saying I threw the poison container away, I think you need to show some kind of proof. <laughs> she got me good with that. No, no. 
We know what it is. Alright. Unless we can come up with some evidence, we're going to lose this lead, and I'm going to lose my hemorrhoids. Hmm. Then where is the container the poison was carried in? What happened to it? It's right there! <laughs> you were forced to get rid of the container in a hurry, weren't you? That's why you passed it on to someone who had nothing to do with the case. Someone that you knew wouldn't be searched. Who is this person? Mr. Phoenix Wright, of course. I didn't even consider that, too. So the defendant was this witness's accomplice? Of course not. Not knowingly. She gave the poison to him disguised as a present. What? But that's... That's crazy! That's a charming little necklace. Is this a little bottle? It's really quite cute. So what about it? What does it mean, Miss Fay? The day that the witness met and fell for Mr. Phoenix right was eight months ago, August 27th. The very same day as the poisoning incident. <laughs> and that thing is pretty big. Under the pretense of love, the witness gave my client a present. Oh, for the purpose of... <laughs> Look at the way her face pops up over Phoenix. It's like, surprise! I'm a woman! <laughs> Are you saying there's a deadly poison in here? Notice I lift the what part out. So as to eliminate confusion, even though I think we've established already that it doesn't count when it's in the dialogue. No, there's no longer any poison in that bottle. However, I'm certain if the crime lab were to analyze it, they would find a trace amount. Oh, shit! No! Mmm, we got you. We got you by the bra this time. Order in the court. Um. Objection. He just said order! What? You can't object. You're not a lawyer yet, dude. Put your old finger back down. Come on, let you bully her like this. Mr. Wright, I thought I told you to stay in your seat. Mr. Wright, why? Why are you going through so much trouble to protect her? Why? Because I love her, damn it. The wall, yeah. Hmm. Madly in love. I haven't heard anyone say that in a long time. You know you're listening to those 45s back at home. Hmm. <laughs> well. I guess she must be madly in love with me, too. Nope. Wrong. Wrong, sir. Wrong. Under the contract. Hmm. <laughs> At this point in the trial, it should be obvious to everyone. The real reason that she would not date you is... The real reason that Dahlia Hawthorne is dating you is... To keep you quiet. Well, actually... Um... Uh, like, why would you keep dating him? I mean, maybe he found out? Because to keep you quiet doesn't make sense unless he knows about it. Which, if he knew about it, that would kind of... slightly assassinate his character, to be honest. On the other hand, because of that necklace, I mean, didn't she just take it back? Or, um... I don't know, to keep you quiet seems like the most logical answer, but... Uh, I don't like that, though. Naturally, it's to keep you quiet. What? To keep me quiet? Keep me quiet about what? <laughs> well, uh... Oh, because there is no secret. Yeah, I didn't like that answer anyway. Faithfully saying, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have said that. It's because of the necklace. Dolly Hawthorne was not and is not madly in love with you. I mean, we know that. <laughs> the only thing she's after is that bottle necklace you love to wear around your neck. My necklace? Back there in the waiting room, you said it yourself. What did he say? Yeah, but she's so shy. Every time I see her, she always says the same thing to me. Please give it back now. 
What a strange girl asking for a present back like that. Oh, yeah. For Dahlia Hawthorne, that necklace is irrefutable evidence of her crime. That's why she absolutely had to get it back. She couldn't have just stolen it while he was sleeping or something. Unless he wore it while he was sleeping, too, I suppose. And to make things worse for her, you insisted on showing it to everyone you met. Yeah, that would, that would be a problem. That's why she... I don't... I don't believe you. No, that's a lie! Mm. Crap. Everybody's crying in this case, man. Mia, are you alright? The defendant, he's getting away. Bailiff, hurry after him. Oh my god. It's turned into a Michael Bay movie. Or an action movie. A John Woo movie. Mia, Mia, Mama Mia, are you alright? <laughs> yes, I think so. That boy, he went completely insane. Where's Mr. Wright? It looks like the bailiff caught him, so he should be brought back here soon. Thank goodness. Oh no! What is it? That's the way I'm going! Oh, it's gone. Ugh. Crap. Oh, man. Jeez, he really wanted to protect her that much that he grabbed the necklace. Because that's love, I gotta tell you. I mean, love will make you do some really stupid things. <laughs> Mr. Wright, this sort of behavior is unprecedented in the history of this court. I'm sorry. I'm afraid that your apology is not enough. Mr. Reed, what did you do with the bottle necklace? Forgive me, I put it by my mom. It's, it's in my pot. I'm sorry. It's okay, just give back the necklace. Poop it out if you have to. You ate it! So you really are gonna poop it out! It's gonna be like two or three days, we're gonna have to wait for that. Alright, Bailiff, get the Fiber One bars. It was too big to swallow, so I had to chew it. No! You poison yourself now! Ugh. What is he doing now? Crap, you better get some Ipecac syrup or something. You've got to stop the trial. Mr. Wright, are you feeling okay? Does your stomach hurt? That bottle you swallowed may have had some poison left in it. What are you standing around laughing about? This guy could be dying. Oh, clearly that bottle did not contain. Just because it doesn't contain a poison now doesn't mean it didn't then. How can you be so sure? I think that's obvious. As you can see, the defendant is still very much alive. As for the poison, more like a fledgling defense attorney's overactive imagination. So it would seem. Doom! Oh, my throat. <laughs> no, there must be some mistake. The bottle must not have had any poison left in it. Either that or the poison must have lost its potency. Ooh. There, there, it's alright, rookie. Trusting your client is the most noble thing a defense attorney can do. And it's heartwarming to see that you placed this much faith in Mr. Wright. However... But that's how it is for us on the prosecution side, too. For example, this case, which I'm about to lose, is going to be very devastating. Ugh. Oh, boy. Of course he would. Hmm... Unfortunately, Miss Faye, I cannot accept your explanation of the events. But why? This may be impossible for a beginner like... D you... D just... Frick... Oh! No, it can't be over. It can't be! So now, I mean, I know it's not. I sit here and say, oh my god, it can't be over, but I know it's not. Something's gonna come up. <sighs> so, <gasps> but then what? That was totally Phoenix who said that. I recognize the voice. Mr. Wright. 
I'm sorry, Miss Faye. I'm totally slipped my it totally slipped my mind. An ass pole, really? We have an ass pole, ladies and gentlemen.